you fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today a massive epic fish room tour. Grab your snack and beverage and stand by. Alright fishy folks, welcome back. Before we get started as always, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Just click. And then of course when you're done with that, you want to click the notification bell so you know if I go live or release a new video. Today's video, a epic fish room tour. Every tank, it's going to be kind of long. I hope you're ready for it. I hope your snack and beverage meets the occasion. Here we go. Well alright fishy folks, here is the tour as usual. The workbench is a disaster. You can see a heater controller that was sent to me to uh, review and use for Chewy's tank. Unfortunately, the plug for the heater I have does not fit, so I have to call the company, well, email the company and be like, yo, what's up? Uh, I also have a new product I am testing in the fish room, Net Soak by Jungle Land. I'll put a link for this down below. I don't have any results just yet. It is a little pricey, but I'm checking it out. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the disaster workbench. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. Let's go check it out. And this is why I don't like tidal filters. While they do a great job of restarting on a power outage, they are noisy. And to be blatantly honest, I don't think they clean as well as an aqua clear. Just one man's opinion, folks. Fixed. Now, I was going to give this filter to my boy Scott from King and Queen Seconds. Don't forget to check out his channel, especially if you like big fish. He does big uh, Central and South American cichlids. His beautiful girl, Liz, does nano stuff, so they got a whole lot going on over there. Anyway, this filter I was supposed to give to him at uh, that show that was canceled just before coronavirus down in Maryland. I can't remember the name. Anyway. I'll give it to him next time I see him, if I ever see him again. Let's get started with the tour, folks. This is just a Pleco breeding tank. There's a couple long fins in here and lots of filters. You can buy pre-seeded filters. Currently, I have three left, two large and one small. So if you want one, order it quick. I have new supply coming, but it's gonna be at least six weeks before I can sell them because they have to be seeded. Uh, anyway, this tank is metal red lace. We had a small spawn and there's only a few guppies left. That guppy is hugely pregnant and she should drop any minute. Over here, we have some new fish to the fish room. Oh, that was a good camera motion. Uh, these are Nebula Steel Fry that were sent to me by a subscriber. Thank you so much. Uh, I paid him for shipping. He shipped me two bags with breather bags. One bag didn't make it with the adults, just these fry made it. So we gotta let them grow out, see what they look like, and go from there. Here is a yellow cobra breeding tank. You can see there's, I don't know, 60 fry or so, tiny little fry, growing slow, feed them three or four times a day. And then of course there are some long fin yellow, uh, sorry, long fin blue eye plecos in here. And uh, there was one you could see on that lift tube. Oh, there he is. I don't know if you can see him from the angle, but he's on the lift tube. Here's my red cobra and lemon blue eye grow out tank. Uh, you can see there are the lemon blue eyes. I just recently got in from a wholesale order and these red cobra guppies, most of them are females and don't have any red in them. And that's, it's kind of funny. <clears throat> I'll be getting some more red cobras in from a subscriber as soon as this COVID stuff goes away, she will venture to the post office and ship them to me. You see there's a giant snail there too. Hey, somebody email me about snails for their puffer. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you. I will hopefully do that soon. Uh, here's another yellow cobra grow out tank. You can see tiny itty bitty fry. Look how cute and adorable they are. And the glass is dirty and I don't care. Um, there's also a couple plecos in here. This was the green dragon. No, this was long fin. Sorry. Sorry, not this, just long fin um, pleco grow out tank. The first tank I had a disaster in where everything pretty much died. All the plecos died, not the guppies. And I don't know what happened. And there were like three left and they're growing out. They're, they're hiding in there somewhere. I don't know where they are. All right, shall we see Chewy? This is Chewy, my super red dragon flower horn. 
that I got from Aqua Craze, and uh, he's he's been under the weather for a little while, for about a week and a half. He was under the weather. Uh, I kept thinking it was his tank, the temperature again, but every time I checked it, it was fine. Um, I had just cleaned his filter um, just before, or, or as I, I realized he was not feeling well. Of course, now his filter is completely engulfed in whatever moss was left. Uh, his cock has shrunk. You can see there's a little, little stuff like the back of my head on his head, uh, but he, and he was dark in color and he was just kind of hanging out in one corner, but uh, I treated the tank with uh, Furan 2 and salt, um, as suggested to me by some smart folks, and he seems to have be, he seems to be on the mend. His cock is starting to grow back, and uh, he's alive, he's lively and swimming and playful and eating. He also wasn't eating, so. I don't really know what the problem was. Uh, I do not claim to be a flower horn expert. I usually ask for help when he's sick, and I did, and they suggested salt. I threw in the Furan too because uh, it's a great, great med. You can see uh, I have it here, API Furan 2. Link in the description, but you can buy it anywhere. Uh, most places carry it. Uh, mutt guppies. We have a lot of mutt guppies. I have some live footage here, so uh, why don't you look at the tanks from the outside for a minute? Oh, great, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, more mutt guppies, yeah, yeah. Oh, female mutt guppies over there. All right, let's get to the underwater footage. I love the underwater footage. I am so excited for my guppy ponds. It is Saturday, May 9th, and 35 <clears throat> degrees in New Jersey. Why? 
Mother Nature's a crackhead. I know it was snowing up in New York, up in upstate New York, like Albany area, uh, yesterday, Saturday. It's May. We should all be in shorts, and it should be warm, but it's not. So ponds are going to have to wait. All right, back to the tour. All right, fishy folks, this tank here is a albino pleco breeding and grow-out tank, as well as the red snakeskin guppies, which I am currently out of stock on the website. You can see they are growing nicely. There is a really spectacular male right there. Um, and then some younger males, you know, that are starting to show color. I imagine these are gonna be uh, back to being uh, on the website shortly, but there will be a limited quantity because as you can see, I can't produce them fast enough and my source for these isn't currently shipping. Here we have the snowflake guppies. These are guppies that my boy Ryan from PR Aquatics got me uh, last year sometime. And it's not focusing, probably because the tank is so dirty. Um, well, there we go. And uh, he held them for me and shipped them to me and they had fry immediately. And there's a few fry left. Uh, looks like she's starting to, to show signs of labor. I will... Uh, I will hope, I hope she will give birth soon. Sorry, I got distracted. <clears throat> These guppies were given to me as red cobras. They are really not red cobras, but uh, I do, as they grow up, I do usually, I, I have added them to mutt orders. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of hoping they grow and I can see what they are and see if I can make them a real strain or not, or just continue as mutts. But pretty prolific, lots of fry in here. Um, yeah. All right, over here we have the red, the Dumbo Red Dragon Mosaic Firework. I'm actually gonna stand up. Let's see if I can do this without making you guys puke. Oh yeah, it wasn't too bad. You can see my reflection now. Uh, anyway, Dumbo Red Mosaic Firework Guppies breeding in here. Hopefully soon we'll have a couple pairs for sale. You can see that spectacular male right there. Uh, here we have the Purple Mosaics which everybody wants, and you can see the fry are starting to grow nice. If you compare them to my last fish room tour, you can see the growth and uh, the colors. So I'm pretty excited about these. Originally when I got them, I wasn't too happy. I did cull, not cull, I did separate a few that weren't breeding true, so hopefully these guys will breed true. Uh, you can see there are some new fry in there. So hopefully in a few weeks we'll know how true these guys breed. They're gonna be expensive, folks. I was offered quite a bit of money for a trio of these, and uh, they're gonna be expensive. So if you want them, save your shekels. Uh, what do we have here? Here we have pink flamingo guppies, <coughs> my original strain that I got that's growing out, and a legitimate poop ton of pleco fry. <clears throat> As I say every video, these were the plecos that were outside in the tub. Uh, in that little Intex pool that I had, the 90 gallon pool. Uh, he's not focusing on the back. There we go, because other fish are swimming in the front, but there's one of the big daddies. Actually, that's a big mommy, but you know what I mean. And uh, they've produced quite a few fry. I've already separated quite a few and sold out of here. Um, but they produced regular brown, like that one. Not, not the one on the glass, the one on the filter, which you can't see. Uh, and all these albinos, so. This tank gets fed quite heavily. You can see all the mom that's encapsulating the Java Maw. So one of the reasons I don't have so much production out of guppies is because of uh, the mom. Here we have the blue neon grow out tank. These guys are currently on back order. You can see, I don't know, 50, 60 fry in here and a couple of big mamas back in the back doing well. This is one of the filters that I have reviewed in the past, and here's a, another China filter that I have turbified. New strain in the fish room, fire and ice platinum guppies. To be on the website as soon as they come out of quarantine, which will be next week sometime. Uh, do not ask when they're going to be on the website. I just told you they are going to be on the website soon. Then you can order them. Limited quantities. <clears throat> Here's my care species. It's a Goodyear. I don't remember which one it is. I'd have to look back in my my messages. My good buddy Tom Galuli, who uh, um, I don't really know his position with Bucks County Aquarium Society, the best aquarium society around. 
Um, but he gave them to me, and uh, they had some fry. They they he's like they produce live they're live bears and they produce fry like guppies, but only like two or three at a time, and they're bigger. So I had a couple uh, that are in here, but you know the water's kind of cloudy because of overfeeding these plecos. Look at that pleco! Look how sexy that guy looks. Anyway, regular pleco breeding tank. Move the dipping pour onto the yellow guppies and more plecos. Nothing really just special to see here. Um, all right, I have a crossroads. Do we do the bottom row? Now let's continue the middle row. Then we'll go to the top row. Then we'll go back to the bottom row. Here we have our Red Tux Grow Out Tank. I'm waiting on a order, a wholesale order. So these are just breeders right now. Um, so these guys are on back order, currently on the website. All right, fishy folks, this is another Pleco Grow Out Tank. It's the one with my Aqua Clear 70, which I love. Um, but this tank was hit with that mysterious disease that, that, that kills. Uh, took out all the fry, probably about 50 or 60 fry and grow outs. Uh, took out a couple of the adults. Now there's there's at least four or five in here. I don't know if you can see them on that that sponge filter that because the camera is not focusing because the glass is so dirty. But anyway, most of the adults did survive, so we got to start over in this tank. Luckily, I have a few different pleco breeding tanks, and they are doing okay. All right, fishy folks, this was a a wholesale order I got from uh, a customer. Uh, these were. Uh, purple haze guppies. Uh, I'm not really sure I see purple haze. I don't. I don't really know what purple haze is. But uh, unfortunately, we lost most of the order. Uh, not before we had some fry born. I don't believe it was the seller's issue. I believe it was my issue. And that there's a female guppy there that looks like it's not doing so well. That one right there. Have to retreat this tank. Nothing's being sold out of this tank, obviously, because uh, they're still in quarantine. And uh, it's the albino chocolate bristle nose tank as well. We did lose one of the big ones and one of the small ones. Um, so we'll treat this tank again and go from there. Yeah. Uh, same thing happened to my Japanese blue tank. We lost most of the Japanese blues. We have some youngins left. I have some people that are, are gonna be shipping me some more. But uh, everything in, you know, has been healthy in this tank for the last week and a half or so. So I think we've got it in this tank. Of course, the death continued. This is one of the tanks that it started in, the Red Blonde Cobra tank. We have two pairs left, which is good that there's two pairs. Uh, so hopefully we can start breeding. They, they are showing breeding intentions, but the females are still a little bit young. So I think we have some time. There's also two plecos in here. There's one on the wall. Let me let me let me come over here, change angles, and of course I scared him, so now you can't see him. Uh, but yeah, there's one in the cave right there. I don't know if you can see it. One of these was sold to me as a not sold. I think I bought it at auction. It was labeled as Green Dragon. I don't believe they're Green Dragons. I think they're just Calicos. They might be Longfin Calicos. I don't think they're Green Dragons though. What is a green dragon, actually? If you guys can tell me in the comments below what, what makes it a green dragon, let me know. Is it just a longfin calico that, uh, what's his name, named? And it's really cool and I fell for the naming trick. It's possible. Red, Super Red Pleco Grow Out Tank. <clears throat> Got six in a wholesale order. As far as I know, all six are still in here. Uh, one, two, three. Like, I see four now, so there's probably two more in the caves. Uh, they're doing well, just growing out. Um, it's probably going to be at least a year until I have fry out of these guys and then another probably three to six months before they're sellable size. I will continue to uh, work with wholesalers to get good quality so stock that I do quarantine and treat and make sure are healthy and happy before I sell them. But for now, the Super Reds are on intergalactic back order. Here we have long fin browns. Uh, there were six in, in the in my order, my initial order. I think there's only two left. We had a couple DOA in the and uh, the next day we had some DOA in here. As I said in my unboxing video, the wholesaler did tell me they were smaller than normal than she likes to sell, but that's all she had, and I understand it's really not a big deal. That, my friends, is a season filter. Speaking of wholesale order, here are long fin albinos doing well. We didn't lose any. Uh, they are eating algae and eating well, you can see. So uh, these, again, are going to be a while before they're, they're for sale on the website. 
But don't worry, as soon as they're for sale, I will, I will say something. All right, Dark Dragons. Uh, they were sent to me as a gift, and uh, they were fry, and I really wasn't happy with them, but they were free, so I didn't complain. And then they've grown up, and they are amazing. Now, I don't have any fry. I'm a little concerned. No fry yet. Uh, I am, if I had the tank space, I would remove a female and put her in her own tank, but I don't have any tank space. Um, I have more wholesale orders coming next week, and I gotta figure out what to do. I was hoping to have the pleco, the guppies outside, the muck guppies outside, but obviously that's gonna happen with 35 degrees. Here we have a bluegrass tank. Um, these guys were sent to me by a subscriber. I think I actually bought them from her. Um, they came in really small, nice quality fish, um, but they didn't, I don't know what to say. They're not really producing much. Um, and they're slow growers, so there's a big female and male in here. I don't know where they are. I see a, a, a medium-sized female, but grass guppies tank. Black metal lace guppies from uh, my buddy Phil, Tamed Waters. Bought a trio, and uh, they drop fry right away, and then there's a second batch in there. Growing out, wait until I have about five or six pair that I can sell, then they will go up on the website and you can buy them from Michael's Fish Room. You can see there's one, two, three, ah, there's maybe four adult males in there, so maybe I'll put up three pairs and see how it goes, since there's hardly anything for sale on Michael's Fish Room right now. Black Moscow Grow Out Tank. There was fry drop from one of these huge females. This, I believe this is the, the, the fish that got all my fish sick with with the calamars, so. Uh, but fry are doing well. Um, you can see them all over the place if the camera will focus at all, which it's not because I suck. Can you see the fry up here? You can see the fry up there. <clears throat> all right, Jarwee Lazuli Guppies. Um, they're in here and there were some fry, but these are notoriously slow growers. So really nothing to see except little tiny fry. These are red mosaics, again sent to me for free. Um, also really not producing and uh, no fault on my own. I am feeding the crap out of them. They are getting the same water changes as everything else. So I'm not really sure why they're, they're s such slow producers. That's why they're not on the website. All right, fishy folks, here's a wholesale order that went wrong. I ordered these blue variated, and uh, I ordered 10 pair, and I was gonna put them all on the website after quarantine, except I only got 10 males. And, uh, you know, they're not bad looking guppies. They're essentially fancy, fancy mutts. Um, but that's how they're labeled in stores and in wholesale. And uh, when I get the females in, I will get them up on the website after quarantine. Um, we didn't really lose any. I I'm happy, but only only males, so that kind of sucks. Red Mosaic Dragons with a really dirty tank. God, I should have cleaned these. Nope, I should have, that's not how I roll. These are spectacular fish. Uh, they finally started producing fry, but they are slow growers. So again, once I get five or six pairs available, I'll put them up on the website for sale. I mean, just, just look, oh, yeah, I almost dropped the camera. That's right. Look at how stunning that guy is. He's moving too fast. All right, half blacks. I know a couple people are interested in these half blacks. Uh, I have lots of fry, not lots of fry. I have some fry growing out, nothing to show there. Red Dragon Ribbons, another new fancy strain in Michael's Fish Room. These are gonna be a while before they grow out. I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Um, they're, they're some of the designer guppies that I just, I just don't really like them. On a positive note, there's lots of guppy grass in here that's not dying, so that's good. Glass belly guppies soon to be available in Michael's Fish Room again. These guys will be coming out of quarantine soon in limited quantities. Place your order soon. Purple grass guppies. All right, so these were sold to me as purple grass guppies. Um, the male died, I don't know, the day I got them, the next day. Uh, then a female died after she gave fry, and then we have, uh, that's one of the male fry, and then another, that's the original female. And so I have a ton of fry in here, um, but I'm not sure, I, I guess I don't really know what purple grass looks like. Is that a purple grass male? I don't think so. So I don't know what these are gonna be when they grow up, but that's what they were sold to me as. 
Here are the uh, pink flamingo guppies from my boy Joe. I did separate most most of the males I put in the other tank over there, and you can see fry growing out. These are available on the website. Look at how big and gorgeous these pink flamingo guppies are. Here, let me show you the males. Look at them. Spectacular, right? Beautiful. Healthy. Really nice. All right, blue tux guppies. Currently on back order, and here's why. You can see they're growing out. I don't know, maybe two weeks we'll be able to, to sell some, but uh, this is another tank feeding the crap out of it. They're growing well. There's a lot of fry in there. And uh, we'll see what happens as they grow up. They'll go back on the website. All right, fishy folks, the blue metallic mosaics. Uh, if you remember, these were sold to me as purple snowflakes, and they are not purple snowflakes uh, from that disaster live aquaria order that I, I ordered. Um, I let these grow out, and uh, we named them blue metallic mosaics. They are uh, showing a little bit more red than they used to, but that's what they are. And uh, so I know I have a customer that has six pairs of these on order. You'll be getting these lovelies from these tank as soon as they grow up. All right. <clears throat> blue deltas. These are also blue deltas, except they're not the same. Uh, these are purple mosaic cobras, I guess is the best name for them. I showed a picture to my buddy Doug, the super breeder Doug, um, and that's what he called them. So I gotta let these go for a while and see how they look and see how they breed. But they're gorgeous looking guppies, but they're not, they're not the blue deltas that I bought. Here are the blue deltas. They are fantastic in this tank, available on the website. Although I, I got so many orders this week, I don't know if there are any left, so we'll have to see. All right, here are the rainbow dragons I got from Kendall at Otter Creek, Otter Creek Aquatics. I don't know why that's so hard, so hard to say. Look, the lid for the AquaClear filter fell in here. That's why I couldn't find it. Uh, I had fry, but I don't. I think they're all gone. I think they were eaten. They were tender and delicious. Not enough hiding spots. Um, I'd like to show you the male. Oh, there's a fry swimming around. Just kidding. There's a fry, but you can't see it. Um, I'd like to show you the male if you can see it because he's stunning. Anyway, can't find him. All right, these were violet cobras, which all died, uh, and I gotta take the sticker off. They were really small fry, and they didn't make the shipping well. It's a big pile of mom right there, and then there's chocolate plecos in here that are all hiding. I can't see them. Here is the green cobra grow out tank. You guys love green cobras. You've ordered quite a bit. Here they are, growing out. About a hundred juveniles in here growing lovely. But, uh, you know, we gotta wait till they grow up. I do have some coming in from a new customer sending me some fish. And uh, if those are, are nice and healthy after quarantine, I will be filling the already ordered green cobras. That'll probably take care of that, actually. I, I probably won't have any extra to sell. Black Moscow grow outs from my friend Sierra. We met, she's close, we met at a local mall and uh, she gave me a bunch of these. I added a ginormous female and they're growing out and looking lovely. Thank you, Sierra. Here are the black Moscow's that I got from the wholesale order that I think is the one that uh, brought Calamars into my fish room. Lost most of the females, there are a few left. A few males, I mean the males look great. Um, one more week of quarantine. Oh, and there's Fry. Look, I don't know if you can see, but there's Fry. I don't think Fry would survive in here, but I'm actually kind of happy. Um, once these guys uh, pass the month-long quarantine I have issued, I'll be backfilling orders, and they'll be going back on the website. <sighs> Black Panda Guppies. Two huge females, which you probably can't see because they're hiding. Can you see her? Yeah, there's one. Uh, no fry that I can see. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to talk about it. It makes me feel bad. Red grass guppies. Um, got these from my boy Joe. Added them to the already red grass tank that I had because I had no other choice. And uh, yeah, these are for sale. Look how gorgeous they look. They're on the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Check them out. All right, fishy folks, that does it for this ginormously long tour. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up.
All right, fishy folks, hope you enjoyed that fish room tour. I know you guys really like them. Sorry the tanks are so dirty. I don't clean them because it's a working fish room, and I, quite honestly, I'm too lazy and I don't have time. Um, lots of fish for sale on Michael's Fish Room. Lots of things on back order as well. I'm working hard to try to uh, fix that, but, you know, I'm not going to sell you guys crap if I can help it, and uh, it's hard finding good wholesalers with good prices that make it worthwhile. So that's my struggle, not yours. Hope you guys liked the tour. Please check out my website, Michael's Fish Room. You can buy these cool shirts at teespring.com. Check out my friends, Scott and, Le Scott and Lisa. Check out my friends, Scott and Liz at uh, King and Queen Cichlids. My friends, Martin and Lisa at supercichlids.com. My boy, Keith at KGE Aquatics. Ryan at PR Aquatics, the best forum on the market. If you're local to uh, uh, South Jersey or Eastern Pennsylvania, Bucks County Aquarium Society, the best aquarium fish club ever. And uh, yeah, that does it. Hope you guys liked it. See ya. Holy crap, I just said let's wrap it up and Alexa said something and legitimately scared the bejesus out of me. All right, gotta wrap it up. Here we have long thin browns. This, 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 yeah, speak much? You can see that pregnant, it, that pregnant is guppy.